welcome to round two. We've got a lot of Volvos. I think we're at 13, 14 cars right now. We're gonna add some more and subtract one or two because we've filled up this whole parking lot here. And we'll get to the good camera right now. Hi, say hi to everybody, Brett. What's up? Uh, we are just doing like a little Friday night social and we had a pretty decent turnout here. We've seen this car from another video and there's a lifted wagon. We've kind of just taken over this parking lot and there's more on the way, but traffic, you know. Boy, this coolant leak is troubling me though. <laughs> anyway. spot was that S60 from Juan and Wendy and you'll get to see Juan and Wendy's S60 now. This is a very clean 240. Here we've got another 240. This is I think a 93 and we got Sarah's 92. Cool XC90 from much later years like 2012 to 2014 I think. Uh, Beamer's leaving so I could probably take that spot. And then we've got Ron and Anna. We've got the XC40 electric that's Patrick, Sue and Mike have the gold 1800 next to that is a yellow ES that belongs to Steve. Steve's in the red shirt back there with the cool hat. And next to him is another S60, a newer P1 generation, I think, or is it P3? And then uh, Henry with his B90, Rogers, Saffron. There's Roger the man himself. Rita, Robert, Cal. And they're inside getting some burritos. Actually, mine's on order too, so I better go and uh, pick that up soon. Okay, the end of the night, the sun is set, and boy oh boy, does this car sound good. It smells raw. It smells like fresh air. These smell like JPEGs, and this smells like a raw file. There's no cat. But it's uncompressed data. Fumes. Greetings from the palest legs in the ocean. Huh. San Diego's kind of cool, huh? Check it out, a Volkswagen Scirocco. It's another Cars and Coffee in Los Angeles. And uh, say hi to the people, Cal. Welcome. All right, I'm gonna walk around. There's a Bertoni here. Go look at the Bertoni. Bertoni. <laughs> Is it gonna fix it again, Bertoni? All right. Wow, we though. Come on, somebody. Here, let's uh, show off today's good old 70s outfit. All right, it's been uh, a busy couple of days. On Friday, we had the Volvo Social, which was uh, Pasadena. And then there's actually another show today in Pass. It's the, um, it's a concourse show. Can someone say Countach? So, uh, this is pretty subdued out here for now. Oh, there's Patrick. There's the Bertoni. That's a good looking car, huh? <laughs> Hi, good morning. Let me see all this leather real quick. Wow, we. They weren't kidding. 36 square feet. <laughs> well, we'll have to compromise on the wood paneling. The Italians wanted it and they said, it'll splinter, we'll get in your knees. <laughs> but they layered it with some metal. And then, uh, that's beautiful. Are you parking or are you leaving? 
hard? Yeah, I want oh, okay. to come yeah. back to this guy. Oh, hey, <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was too busy chasing you down. Wow. It's a Berdosi. Yeah. Dad jokes. Well, that's really cool. Um, look, a 242. There's quite a few Volvos today. Interesting display. Suede dash, suede dash cover. Let's see the goods. Oh, and nine six swap. Very cool. Popular from the uh, nine sixty or perhaps an S eighty. Looks a little newer. Beautiful. That's cool too. Look at the patina on this. Clear coated patina. Couple layers. All right. Well, it's mostly the usuals every month. Um, hey, I really like your shirt. Want to take a picture of this? Cool. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me about this, and then we can wrap up our video and really have some poking around. What's that? Tell me what what you'd like to share about the car. Okay. Do you want? Are we? Are we? Are we it's rolling? yeah. It's going right now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. It's a. This is a 1989 Volvo 780 Bertone. Uh, this was the only year that they had the option of both the V6 and the four-cylinder, and mm. this one is the V6 variant. Um, Did they have the V6s all prior? They had the V6. It was only the V6 for the first couple of years. Okay. And then 89 was the one year where you could get either or. Mm -hmm. the, the V6 came with these wheels, and the turbo came with those wheels. Okay. Um, that's an easy way to spot the difference. Yeah, yeah Anything yeah. else, like badge-wise, that they have for the uh, V6 or not, Turbo? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then as far as year-to-year year year changes, uh, oh. the I mean, these almost look identical. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's really... Not that I can remember. Um, the first year had a solid rear axle. After that, they're independent rear suspension. Ooh. And do you know who owns this silver one next to you? That would be this gentleman right over here. In the blue? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Man, I got his info. So. Yeah, we got to meet him. That's yeah. really cool to see two like that. Awesome. Local too, so. All righty. It was like... Well, it's a good turnout today. Yeah. There's, the, there's this 242 right here, which is really cool with the inline yeah. six turbo oh, yeah. swap. And um, there's a 240. You can see the white with the cream wheels right there. And then the XC90. It's poking somewhere out there and uh cal's got i think his 240 or so yeah yeah he does it's down there yeah all right let's do a big big reveal wow i just love the outfits here this is this is half the reason why we go is so we can dress up a bit nice okay 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's funny, Roger texted me at 7.35 and he said, Where is everybody? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the goods. I got too many Volvo keys on my ring now. I don't know which one is. The interior is, you know, I'm going to go sit in it in a minute because it looks so comfortable. I just like glass headlights a lot. What's it's, that? I like the glass headlights a lot. Yeah. The accordions on the side of the bumper are quite funny, too. Oops. Just Gotta just grease it. My goodness. It's hiding in there somewhere. <laughs> it's interesting how low it is. AC kind of works. It's like just on the edge of needing to be... It's like, you know, where it turns on and off, on and off, you know, so... Yeah. Do you know if it's still running R12? I don't know. Yeah. Could be. Can you still? They can still do that at the shop. The conversion? Or, or yeah. 12, oh no, no. No. Tech. Technically no. Oh. But. Yeah. Isn't that cool? By the looks of it, leather all around here leather all along that pillar the b pillars maybe maybe 
or just vinyl? It's hard to say. Leather. I'm trying to figure out if this is leather or vinyl on the door. Yeah, it's Italian. Don't even look at it. <laughs> Dude, they have a glass sunroof with the with the shade slider. I don't think the other Volvos did any of that because if they probably didn't, I can imagine the Swedes in the, the day wouldn't want glass. <laughs> Cal's not a supporter. Fully carpeted trunk, nice. Look at these little little handles. They even have a Velcro on the back side of the handle so it can stay up and out of the way. I love these these details. Uh, I would say more, maybe. Yeah, it's probably um, gross, grossly polluting. <laughs> and they're like 90 horsepower. How's your battery on this? It looks questionable, so I'm... Um, okay. And power seats, of course. Except, there we go. Is it not working? It went forward. It won't, it, go, it back. won't go back. Is the key in the on position? I think so. This is, this is a power switch here, underneath. And then this would, I think, be the manual override so that you could... Oh, the override now... No, it doesn't go. Anyway, and what else? What else? Look at how plush that back seat looks. Wow. So the seat kind of sinks you in. Yeah. And um, let me see if I move this up a little bit. Because there's ample legroom in the front. Yeah. If we can... We have it right here. Your head is kind of tall. My head, I'm a little tall. Yeah. I mean, Swedish people are not traditionally short people. Yeah. Scandinavians are tall. Yeah. But, wow, this headliner is real nice. Velour, yeah. is that? I think so. These would be the opera lights here in the corner? Yeah. Are they, um, how do you engage them? They look like That's little vents question. from an airplane. Oh, right here, right here. Wow. <laughs> That's so charming. And yeah. it's just, you know, you can have it on your, your little book. Yeah, and like yeah. A nice big window. Yeah. You get a grab handle. Yeah. They continued the wood trim. Yeah. Uh, you know what? When you're buying the Volvos, I think you got to go for the best ones because it's the details that kind of make the car. Yeah, yeah. Can I open this? Wow, it's got a compartment too. It's not just... Ooh, what do we, what do we win? It's like what a lanyard for? of sorts. Oh, yeah. A little leather grab handle. Yeah, That's the lanyard. Yep, this is leather. This is the best part because it's like the most undisturbed <laughs> right. upholstery in the whole right. car. Yeah. So you can get a feel for what it would be like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice That's and cool. it's, yeah. it's like kind of oily in a way. Yeah. Leather. <laughs> and up here it's not um, felt or foam. It's like a vinyl hat shelf and everything is nice and covered and just one big beige kind of camel interior. <laughs> yeah. And you still get a third seat, like a little what? middle. You have a little middle seat. Uh, there's so much carpet. Let me show you. Look at, there's carpet all around the bottom, minus the foam kind of shedding, but look at where my feet are now. There's um, a big loop of carpet on the back side of the seat covering a lot of the, the rails so you don't scuff your shoes on the metal. Um, there's a sliding seat belt portion there, so it's kind of an adjusting feature based on where the seat is. It's not going to get too weird or tight or uncomfortable. Some uh, coins in the ashtray, but no ash, so that's nice. Oh, everything feels so good. I'm very um, tactile as a person, so I like to get my fingers on things. This could rattle a little bit. So you said the low-end torque's really nice on the V6, and you're not waiting for any turbo spool for a car of this weight. Patrick's got a second Bertone. I love how slippery the leather is too. You can just kind of slide in and out. Do you know the, the numbers on the horsepower rating and the torque? Uh, look it you up. could look it up, that'd be cool. Can I close this? You got your keys? Yeah, I got it. Huge door, big window too. Oh, and like yeah. really thin frame. Yeah. And it's... That car sucks. Backwards, backwards baseball cap. <laughs> For 114,000 miles. The great thing about old Volvos is that they always, the doors are just so solid constantly. And all it needs is a little bit of grease on the hinges here and there. 144 horsepower. 144. 
That's with this engine or the... Yeah, the, yeah, the V6, yeah. 144 horsepower, 193 pound-feet of torque at 3750. Cool. Do you know the weight of this? It's about the same as the 740 or is it going to be considerably... I've heard it's heavier. I could see a little bit yeah, heavier, but yeah. how, how much? There's more... Maybe, maybe 102 pounds because it's got a lot of sound editing and stuff like that. These are much quieter. Look at all those emissions. When you're driving down the freeway on one of these versus like a 740, it, it's far quieter. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is it the seals or the... Uh, I think they just probably put more sound editing or something like that, you know? That has a nice chunky rubber seal here. And then this is a nice little felt. I think these have to be felt because if it's rubber on rubber, it can squeak. Yeah. My window squeaks inside on the 90s, so it kind of drives me up a wall. Yeah. <laughs> right, the quieter an interior, the more you notice the noises, and then it can, the smaller <laughs> ones become magnified. Yeah. Even this little trim, very cool. Yeah. So what was the, was it Torino, Italy? Yeah. Oh. Let's see the little badge here. Turin. Turin? Turin, yeah. Oh, it's Reno. Oh, oh yes. Sorry. Yep. I think that was the headquarters of Bertone. And you see that your little light works under the hood? Oh, uh, no. Ben, ben spun the wheel and it turned on. Oh, cool. Look at the space back here for the bell housing. <laughs> Automatic, yes? Yeah. How's the, um, how's the shifting on the... Seems to be doing okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Have you seen the fluid yet? No. Let's have a look. I don't want to scare you, but let's have a look just to see where it's at. So if I had to pick one French car to have, Citroen SM. Actually, I love this color too. I've appreciated mostly the headlights are behind a plexiglass. Oh, you see it's lifting in the rear. And lifting in the front. Cool. Hydraulic, pneumatic. Whatever it was, hydro pneumatic. What a charming car! Yeah, and that color too. Wow. Really a great car. Patrick, I want to get a picture of you smiling next to your new car. Just right there is great. Great. I'd love to post that on our Facebook and go, congratulations on your new Bertoni. <laughs> new to you. Nope. 114,000. All right, now let's have some fun with this. That's a cool sound. Let me hear the rear end here. Will you blip the throttle for me? Can you blip the throttle? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's quiet. It's a little bit of water, that's okay. Okay, what do we got with mufflers? Oh, oh sounds a little clackety. to attention the trunk and the gas door hiding in the b pillar and you have the option to lock them so you just pull them and that's that yeah. really cool and then i noticed there's a vent under here for the driver cool your crotch for those hot afternoon summer days okay So Omar bought a 2011 R-Design XC90. And this will be the what, the inline six? Inline six. 
two turbo or one turbo? Uh, no turbo, just the SpaceX. No turbo? I'll show you. Yeah, I'd love to see it, but no turbo, no power. Um, anyway, let's look at this. Same interior. The seats are comfy, if you like mine. And the screens have changed a little bit in 2011. He still has the same setup on the inside. There's stainless trim, the steering wheel's the same, navigation's good. 130,000 miles on his. He's got the uh, really nice all-weather mats. Wow, look at these mats. Huh. And so let's see what else. Any other year-to-year -year changes? Okay, the seat's still stopped in the center there. Um, the white-stitched carpet. Oh, this piece here says R design on it. That's nice. White stitch on the leather. Very good, very plush. Let's see how the center hinge operates because mine's creaky. Oh yeah. It's is it locked? Is it stuck? Oh, uh, it's gone. Oh yeah, it's completely broken on this one. That's a bummer. We'll figure it out. Uh-huh. Oh look, he's got some color on the buttons there for the phone, phone interaction. Uh-huh. Blind spot indicators, the R's of course. Oh look, an auxiliary switch, RSE. I wonder what that is, it might be the entertainment center. Um, wow, so soft. The R design also has silver mirrors. It's, we have the same Volcanus wheels, but his are silver, powder coated, with an exterior um, raw aluminum finish, okay? We both have the HID lights, they'll swivel out. That's the third button there next to the blind spot indicator system button and the child lock. Just the rear parking sensors, okay. I love these wheels, they seem to age really well too. And he added these running boards from his other XC90 that I saw back in April. Ooh. It's an Arizona car. There I go, the clear coat. But a big 3-2. This is the same 3-2 used in the XC70. There is the timing chain it's hiding back here lots of space everywhere wow that's brown hmm it is so weird for me to see this with a non-turbo r design like huh you know about the headlights yeah the party trick the party no it's so much fun to see other xc90 owners because omar with his r design i would he was saying that there's a lot of noise coming out of his sunroof and I showed him the little trick that I do where if you let it auto close, it sinks a little bit below the roof line and allows some wind noise in. But if you actually bump it up on the switch just a little bit and get it flush with the roof, it quiets it down. Those little things, that's why I enjoy kind of these social events, meeting with other Volvo owners, sharing our tips and tricks. As I'm heading to the uh, next show of the day, the San Marino Auto Classic, I just wanted to say thank you again to Omar for providing me with those floor mats that he's gifted me. It's really cool of him. And I also um, want to say thanks to Mike and Sue for uh, their gift of the ticket to the San Marino Auto Classic Show. It's a fundraiser, goes to a good cause, and good seeing everybody at Cars and Coffee. Remember the last Sunday of every month in Los Angeles at Griffith Park, and then um, LA Rolling on Facebook or LA underscore Rolling on Instagram. That's where you can get in touch with the group.